Hey, Mel here from Bloombox Co for week four of the five minute flower challenge. We are loving what you guys are doing and loving seeing your pictures come through on Instagram and Facebook, so keep them coming. And I'm really excited to see what you get up to with this week's challenge because it's a little bit different. So this week we are stepping away from the vase and coming down to the floor. So that's why I'm sitting on my living room floor and we're making some fresh flower mandalas. I can't wait to get started with this. I think this is my personal favorite from the five challenges. Um, making a mandala from fresh flowers is not only a great creative activity, but it's also a really nice way to practice mindfulness. So to make a flower mandala, you're going to need a selection of fresh flowers, some shears and uh, maybe some bowls to help you organize your petals. Um, the good thing about making a mandala is that it doesn't really matter what kind of flowers you use because we're going to pull them all apart anyway and as long as you have a good selection of colours and shapes uh, and sizes because of the symmetrical pattern that you end up forming everything ends up looking great anyway. So I'm going to do my mandala on the floor right here but you could also do it on the top of a bedspread, you could do it on a table or you could even do it on a round tray and that way you can move it around if you want to. So let's get into pulling apart our flowers. I'm loving the leopard pattern on these amazing orange Ulstromeria and these petals have a great classic shape to them. You might find that you'll get a tidier shape by snipping your bloom just above the base. It just depends on how the flower is structured and whether or not it comes apart easily. These sim carnations are best pulled apart by grabbing the flower head and pulling away the base like this, then the rest of the petals should fall apart from one another. With the snapdragons, I'm just going to pull away each of the lower blossoms gently so I don't squash them, and then I'm actually going to leave the tips full of these little green buds and cut the whole thing off to use too. As we go, I'm just popping the petals into bowls to help keep me organized. And then my favorite, the iris. These guys have the coolest long petals with an elegant arch and that vibrant color. And you might end up with your stamens, the bit with the pollen, intact too. You'll find that out of one iris bloom, you end up getting three different petal shapes. Once you've finished prepping, it's time to get started with your pattern. I'm hopping on down to the floor and picking a spot to start from. Then all you need to do is choose what to start with and go for it. So what is a mandala anyway? The word mandala means circle or disc and historically they've been used in a whole range of spiritual practices to represent wholeness and the universe and even as a tool to aid meditation. Basically it's a pattern that's designed to be beautiful and absorbing to look at so you can use them as something to focus on when you meditate, allowing your eyes to wander over the pattern while your mind takes a little break. It's also meditative and regarded as a mindfulness practice to create a mandala and you can take that as deep as you like but we like to think that creating a flower mandala or doing any kind of flowery activity is a great opportunity to stop focus on the task at hand and be grateful for the simple things in life like beautiful flowers. So as you can see, I'm just building up that pattern as I go. I have no particular plan with this, but I am being conscious of the amount of petals that I have available to me in each shape and color so I can make sure I end up with an even pattern. Work your way around and around and you can't go wrong. What do you think? I'm pretty sure my floors never looked this good. I can't wait to see what you guys get up to with your mandalas. Um, I'm so excited to see what kind of petals you go for, the colors that you choose, and the patterns that you discover along the way. So don't forget to upload your pictures to the 5 Minute Flowers Facebook group. And also on Instagram, we have hashtag 5 Minute Flowers or hashtag Bloom Situation, and that way we'll be able to find you. And we will catch you guys next week. Bye.